Hello everybody, welcome back to Stan's Garage, bringing you everything you need to know for effective IT business management. Today, I have quite the controversial topic for you, especially if your company is a longtime user of Google's G Suite, particularly the free edition. Well, just recently Google announced to their users that they're getting rid of the G Suite Legacy Free Edition. Starting July 1st of this year, 2022, you will now have to pay for the use of Google's productivity apps on the upgraded Google Workspace. <laughs> now, since 2012, users have been able to use apps like Gmail, Docs, Slides, Calendar, and anything else Google includes in their flagship Office Productivity Suite at no cost to the user. Nice. Having these tools for about 10 years now at least, businesses and individuals will now be required to pay for those services as well as the opportunity to use their own custom domain. In an email that was sent to administrators on January 19th of 2022, Google said that remaining users will be transitioned to Google Workspace Premium subscriptions based on your usage. And people who used the free edition, only education and nonprofit will remain exempt. Now, this can possibly be a big change for a lot of businesses who have kept their free G Suite accounts for many years now. Does Google offer enough with their paid models to keep those users? That's not so clear it's going to be up to those users individually. The way we see it broken down is the business starter plans come out at $6 per user per month and go all the way up to $18 per user. All of these packages will include that custom domain, secure business email, which was something that you get for free with G Suite. Imagine the selling point for paying Google is that, well, you know, you're going to pay no matter what platform you go to and you've already got it here, so you might as well continue Google and get everything else they offer, like Better collaboration tools, more storage, increased security, and you know, you don't have to deal with the hassle of a migration. Very small organizations with one account can go to this workspace individual that they're offering for about $10 a month, but you don't get a personalized email address. So in my opinion, it's like, why bother? Just get a business starter account and you can keep that custom email domain. We're also told that if you do not enter your billing information by July 1st of 2022, Google is going to suspend your uh, accounts and subscriptions. So, on a side note, if you choose to not upgrade to a Google Workspace subscription, you'll be relieved to know that you will not lose access to all the other Google stuff, like YouTube, Google Photos, Google Play, and other things that you can potentially pay for upgraded access. If you're looking to get away from Google because of this change, you should consider switching to Microsoft 365. While it offers similar features like the Google Cloud Storage and business email and various mobile apps, it's really the go-to productivity suite of big companies. And in my humble opinion, offers overall a better set of features. We here at uh, SCG can actually help you switch if that's something you might be interested. Just feel free to schedule a call with me in the link in the show notes below and we can get that ball rolling. So yeah, this upgrade, upgrade, is kind of a big deal. The announcement has received plenty of criticism from the community who is resistant to a paid model of workspace. Obviously, if you're getting it for free. Users who have had the free model for many years feel a little bit let down by Google. One person noted $6 per month per user is a lot to ask for a service that wasn't intended to be used as a business service on our end. It's more than what we pay for any of our other monthly subscriptions, such as Netflix, Hulu, etc. But now I feel trapped now that I've suddenly been asked to pay for something that was free when I signed up for it. So like small families with like five or six, 10 accounts, all of a sudden are gonna have to pay $60 a month for something that was previously free and minimally used. But I'm curious to know what your opinions are on this. You'd be paying for Google Workspace now? Do you think it was inevitable that Google would start charging a subscription? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Again, if you're looking for any IT service assistance, you can schedule a free 15 minute meeting with me in the Calendly link in the description. As always, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.